Hello everyone, this is Urdual Twitex here and I welcome you all to my channel Code Club Day and in this today video we will be discussing about control statements and the different types of control statement. So let's get started. So in Python we have the seven types of different control statements. The first one being the if statement, the second one if else statement, the third one if if and else statement. The third one is the mainly the extended version of the second statement. We do also have while loop, for loop, we have break statement and continue statement. So let's get started. So let me jump back to the VS Code and VS Code. So let's write a typical command using the if statement. So if I write if Two is greater than five. Then print L. The if statement is most likely the one that we use daily. Just so like if I say if it rains, then take umbrella. Similarly, if I say if it is not going to rain, then take cap. So. As like we have conditions in daily life, so we have the if statement in programming. So this if statement will check whether two is greater than five or not, and if it results to true, we have already seen that whether the comparison will re either results to true or false. So if this statement two is greater than five results to true, then this statement will be executed, and if it is not true, then nothing will be done. So let's see. Uh, since I have run the program but we have got nothing since 2 is not greater than 5 but let me invert this condition and let's run again so we have got hello we have got hello because this, uh, this condition resulted to true value and finally this statement got executed but if I write 2 is greater than 5 then nothing will be printed as you can see here in the terminal nothing will be printed since this start statement will result into false and when this is false then nothing uh, uh, the python interpreter will tell that nothing has to be printed but the, the condition is not the same similar like if i say if it is raining then take umbrella else if it is not raining then take uh, uh, take uh, uh, wear co raincoat if it is cloudy the and I can also say that else if it is sunny then take your cap or if it is nothing then just go so there are different types of condition right so it is not always the case that we we'll use only if statement so for this we have the second type of statement called the if else statement the if else statement combines both the first condition which results when it is true and the second one which will result when it is false so if i say if 2 is greater than 5 then print hello else print by means if it, it results into true then print hello else means when it results into false then print by so let's get back to the vs code and see so i have written if 2 is greater than 5 then print hello and i can use i can add the else statement here like else print by and let's run this so we have by because 2 is not greater than false uh, sorry 2 is not greater than 5 so this condition resulted to false and when it is false we know that the else part will execute so print by executed but if I write here 2 is less than 5 and let me run this again so we get hello because this resulted into a false uh, true so the if statement got executed and this print statement finally got executed so we got hello and we must remember that only one of the condition uh, when, when a condition is either false or true when only one of the statement will get executed either this one if it is true and either this one when it is false similarly we can um, we can combine multiple if else by doing like this l if if i say 
If it rains, then take umbrella. Else, if it is sunny, take uh, cap. Else, if it is cloudy, then take raincoat. Else, do nothing. So, there is multiple conditions. So, for this, we can use the else if. Means, I can write here. Let me make a program to check the grades. So, I write A. A is equal to let me take input from the user as I have already discussed in the previous tutorials and input enter your marks I will take marks in a single subject so let me write the condition if A is greater than or equal to 90 print a grid a grid and we must remember that in python if i am going to write if a is greater than 90 then it is followed by column and when you press enter then it will all already uh, it will automatically give a tab spacing of a uh, four tab spacing means it will give four spaces and then it will start from here and this means that this print uh, this print statement belongs to this condition means on the print statement will be executed only after this and if it is not true then this print statement will not be executed we can write multiple statements to be executed when this condition results to true but in this case i'll write only one l if for the next check l if a is greater than or equal to 80 t print b grid uh, you can see that how i am using indentation for this conditions i am using this much indentation it is already given by the vs code for this one i am giving this much indentation similarly for the next l if lf is greater than or equal to 70 colon then you must remember the syntax of a programming language uh, but it is not that much important to run uh, learn all the syntax because uh, as you debug your program the errors will be displayed and you can correct them on your own even if you have some minimal syntax uh, errors print c grid it is very common that you will make mistakes if you are going to learn it the first time but as you will make it your habit then you will be surely uh, you will surely become a good programmer lf is greater than 60 print d grid and now what if a is greater than or equal to 60 it is means you are you have got yeah, sorry print d gray and now for the rest marks i want to do that uh, for the rest of marks means less than 60 i want to print fail so for that at last we have the else statement which is executed when none of this condition turns out to be true then th this part is executed print fail so we have if is if uh, if a statement which checks for a is greater than 90 or equal to 90 and if it is true then it will result into true then if it is if a is not greater than or equal to 19 then it will the program will come here uh, the interpreter will interpret this line again if it checks that whether a is greater than or equal to 18 if it is so then it will print b grid again if it is not then it will come to here it will check this condition and it will see whether this is a is greater than or equal to 70 if it is then it will print c grid and if it is not then it will execute this so there is a, a stepwise um, compiler means interpretation of the program 
and finally when none of the condition is there then it will finally come to this else block and it will print this failed statement and let me run this so it has asked me to enter my marks so let me enter 50 no not 50 let me enter 70 and as you can see i have got c grade and let me enter let me run this program uh, one minute let me clear up this terminal clear let me run this program again and enter your marks if i put type 50 then fail it has resulted into fail because none of this condition turns out to be true so finally the else block will be executed similarly if i write 30 then also none of the condition turns out to be true and finally the else block is executed and if i erase this block and now let me run this program so if i write here 30 sorry let me run this program again right. we have is uh, value, sorry we have to run this program again enter marks and i'm going to write 30 and your marks is and see we have got no output because there is no else block so to get output even in the worst condition we type here the else block means if none of the condition is satisfied then the else block should always be printed out or we may say the else block should always be executed else fail okay let me run this and let me type here 20 then again we will get fail and now this is all for the if statement and if elif and else statement